Hey guys, welcome back again to Ken Tamplin Vocal Academy, where the proof is in the singing. I wanted to go ahead and do a Vocal Coach Reacts to the Halftime Super Bowl show. Uh, obviously, the band is Maroon 5 and the singer is Adam Levine. Uh, we all know him as the mega vocal coach on The Voice. So uh, let's see how he fared at the Super Bowl. Let's check it out. Here we go. Pitchy. Watch your step good if I told you need a miracle. You dream a giant and he wonder why I'm eating here. Stuff a vision I was seeing is my only good. Won't you stay what you know that we might not want you gone? Fit to share the car that I am walking on. Huh, okay, so it's kind of interesting, you know, I'm, we're at the Super Bowl and you're kind of picking one of your songs, it's like a rap piece, uh, and it's in a real low key, so I don't know if you needed to sing low that night or what, um, interesting, rapping was okay, like I said, got a little pitchy there, uh, but I'm not hearing any tiger in his tank, I'm not hearing any fire come out of him, now, I'm not looking to get on the hate Adam Levine train, because I think that's uncool, um, but I do want to point out some technical aspects, I mean, this is the Super Bowl, and he should be, he's a mega star, and he's got a lot of very, you know, elaborate records out with a lot of production if you know what I mean. Um, and, uh, and for crying out loud, he's you know one of the mega coaches for The Voice. So I would think, you know, we should be doing something a little bit more than that personally. So let's continue. Here we go. It's a little bitchy again. I like his tone. Pitchy again. I love this song. Okay, so again, there's no tiger in his tank. Now it could be he might just be out of breath because he's you know really excited singing for you know, singing at the Super Bowl. That could be one issue. But I'm not hearing. It's like everything's coming from his throat, and it's real wimpy and real anemic and just I don't know, real. Um, I don't know, there's not a lot of energy to it. It's kind of weird. By the way, I actually did a version of this song. Uh, I'll post it in the description tag. Um, I, I love the song, This Love. So check out my version of it. See how I stacked up uh, to this. But right now, man, this is not Super Bowl worthy, if you ask me. It's not, you know, let's ask this question another way. Uh, if you were a vocal coach on The Voice, would you turn your chair to push that button? I don't think so. Let's continue. And I'm not, this isn't a diss on Adam. I'm just, I gotta call a spade a spade and see what's going on here. Here we go. The chaos that controlled my mind See, well, whispered goodbye, she got on a plane, never to return again, always in my heart. I wanna, yeah! I wanna hear like some err in this, and I'm, he's going, she whispered goodbye, she got on a plane, never to return again. You know, he's, he's going, and he's even ducking notes, he's going down, and it's a really low song for him. Like I said, try to sing Sugar, it's a pretty high tune, and then sing this, it's, it's actually a lot easier. So maybe he picked these songs, I don't know, he's singing live, he's not singing the tracks, I could give him that, but yikes, here we go. Never to return again, but always in my heart. So. 
Okay, like I said, I'm, I'm not I'm not one of these guys that just is trying to find fault with things. But for crying out loud, guys, this is the halftime show. This is like the pinnacle of like what greatness should be and at the top of your game and crazy energy. Yeah, I remember seeing Bruno Mars and I was like, dang, you know, and I'm like, dude, you rock. That was killer. And I've seen a lot of really great shows. Like I said, you know, I wonder if like White Snake was uh, was out here and doing this. I mean, you know, doing, you know, Here I Go Again or doing Slide It In or some some White Snake song. They would own planet Earth. They'd be huge. They'd be taking over the audience. And right now this is just kind of like real pritzy and real small and real, you know, I don't know. There's no meat in it for you. So uh, again, I'm not a hater. Uh, it's just what I'm seeing here. So here we go. So far, I'm giving it two thumbs down, guys. Sorry if you're an Adam Levine fan or a Maroon 5 fan, and I'm a Maroon 5 fan, but I'm not a fan of this performance. Sorry. Let's continue here. And then we got this little uh, animation stuff going on. Let's see what happens here. Does that mean I, this might be the end of his performance? So give me a second, because um, I think we've got the other performers coming up here. Okay, so anyway, I mean, look, I, I want to give it as much of a, a, you know, kudos that I can. There's just not much I can find in it. There was a couple little lines, you know, yeah, yeah, you know, some tone stuff that he had. But there was just no, no energy, no tiger in his tank. There was no voice there. Like I said, would you turn around your chair if you were a judge in The Voice and he came out? I really don't think so. Anyway, guys, thank you for joining me. Ken Temple of Vocal Academy, where the proof is in the singing. Just trying to give you guys the real scoop. And um, until next time, peace. Out. Hey guys, if you like what you heard, please like and subscribe to my channel. And if you want to get notified when I have a new cool video come out, you need to go to my channel and click on this little bell icon and it will actually notify you every time I have a video come out. Thanks guys.